Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. And thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Friday, March 23rd. It's the fifth week in Lent. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 22, and Mark 10, verse 32 to 45. And now join me in singing the first verse of Psalm 95. Come, let us sing unto our God, the rock of our salvation. Praise and thanks we bring before our songs of joy we sing you. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Psalm 22, and please recite it with me. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me? And from the words of my distress. O oh my God, I cry in the day, but you do not hear me. I cry in the night, and I find no rest. But you alone are holy, O you, enthroned upon the praises of Israel. Our forebears trusted in you. They trusted, and you delivered them. They cried out to you, and were delivered. They trusted in you, and were not put to shame. But I am just a worm and a nobody, a reproach of all, despised by the people. All that see me laugh me to scorn. They curl their lips, they shake their head, saying, He trusted in God, let God deliver him, if God is his friend. But you, God, took me out of the womb. You gave me hope upon my mother's breast. I was entrusted to you since my birth. You were my God from my beginning. Do not leave me alone, for trouble is near, and there is none to help. Many bulls have surrounded me, strong bulls of fashion have beset me all around. They open wide their mouths at me, like a ravening and a roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and my bones are disjointed. My heart is like wax melted within my breast. My mouth is as dry as a pot shard, and my tongue cleaves to my jaws. You have brought me to the dust of the grave. For dogs have surrounded me. The assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. They pierced my hands and my feet, and I can count all my bones. They look and stare at me. They divide my garments among themselves and cast lots for my robe. O oh God, come to my assistance. O oh my strength, make haste to help me. Deliver me from the sword and my life from the grip of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, from the horns of these oxen. I will declare your name to my people. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. All you that fear the Most High, praise God. All children of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, glorify God. Stand in awe, you children of Israel. For God has not despised nor scorned the poor, nor looked away from them. But when they cried to God, they were heard. I praise you in the great congregation. I will pay my vows before them that fear you. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. They that seek you shall praise you. May their hearts live forever. All the world shall remember and turn to you, and all the families of the nations shall worship before you. For the kingdom is yours, and you are the governor among the nations. All the mighty of the earth shall worship all who are mortal shall bow before you, for none can keep their own soul alive. My soul shall live for you, and my children shall serve you too. They will be known as yours forever. They shall come and should declare your righteousness to a generation yet to be born, these things that you have done. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me?
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark chapter 10, beginning at verse 32. They were on the road going up to Jerusalem, and Jesus was walking ahead of them. They were amazed, and those who followed were afraid. He took the twelve aside again and began to tell them what was going to happen to him, saying, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death. Then they will hand him over to the Gentiles. They will mock him and spit on him and flog him and kill him, and after three days he will rise again. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came forward to him and said, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask. And he said to them, What is it you want me to do for you? They said, Grant us to sit one at your right and one at your left hand in your glory. But Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I drink or be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They replied, We are able. And then Jesus said to them, The cup I drink, you will drink. And with the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at my right hand or at my left is not mine to grant, but it is for those whom it has been prepared. When the ten heard this, they began to be angry with James and John. And so Jesus called them and said to them, You know that among the Gentiles, those whom they recognize as their rulers, lord it over them and their great ones are tyrants over them. But it is not so among you. But whoever wishes to become great among you must be your servant. And whoever wishes to be first among you must be slave of all. For the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. Here ends the lesson. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. You are our strength, dear God, for you have loved us in our poverty. Rule our lives and help us to remember you each day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.